So I wanted to speak to you guys about something, something that I've been thinking about for a very long time now. And I always told you guys, I'll be 100% honest with my audience. I don't want to lie or deceive anyone about anything. What's going on YouTube, it's Jason, and welcome to day number 88 and day number 35 of my Razor Sharp series. So I'm currently en route to get my ultrasound and get my shoulder looked at. Rebecca is driving me because I've been told that I'm going under local anesthetic and so I will not be able to drive back home on my own. In terms of plans for today, I'm meeting Matt at the gym later for his first leg day. Well, his first proper leg day. He goes to the gym and does a few leg extensions and squats, but I don't think he's ever been put through his paces properly. So that should be interesting. We had our food shop this morning and it just reminded me of a very important point. It's a lot harder to get lean when you have a partner like I think Rebecca will tell you just getting Rebecca to do a food shop that doesn't have like snacks or what I call poison on it is almost impossible how did I get in there forever Roche golden eggs if you're single you can just eat what you want drink what you want and cutting is pretty much a very straightforward task the reason I leave a longer time period for my shred is not because of my compliance I mean, you guys have seen, right? We've been out for coffee. Sometimes they're like nibbles and bakes in there. We go out to eat, their takeaways all in there. You've got to factor that in and they're all part of normal life. And really that's what makes cut and take longer. Especially if, you know, you have a wife, you've got to factor in, you know, monthly hormonal changes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. You have to factor in, you know? Yeah, of course. If Rebecca wants chocolate, if she wants chocolate, she's not really here to negotiate about your shreds, so she'll put it in the cupboard and all sorts of it, so... Yeah, I think also, though, we both have different goals in terms of what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, exactly you know, that. nutrition, physique. Yeah, no, that, that's true, so, so basically... If you're uh, on a strict diet, you're not going to have any... You're not going to buy anything on your food shop and, that's rubbish. But if yeah. you don't have a strict diet, yeah, and you won't be so strict. Yeah, of course. And this is exactly why, when I see these, like, fitness influencers who are, like, shredded, I won't mention any names, but like some of these guys that like, oh, I leave four weeks to get shredded and they get like lean, hashtag no excuses. It's like, if you're a single bachelor, it's so easy to get shredded that I almost, I almost don't see it as commendable as much because it's straightforward, right? You're just controlling your diet and everything. When you have a family or someone else to take care of and have to navigate around life, I think that's when it takes a lot more strategy. And for me, it's a lot more impressive. But yeah, run over. Let's get the shoulder looked up. So first meal of the day was the usual natural yogurt, granola and maple syrup. Next meal was buttered sourdough with four boiled eggs. So I'm about to go on a walk just to get my steps in. But before I do that, I wanted to speak to you guys about something quite important. Well, there's no snacks in the cupboard. Do you guys see what I have to put up with? There are no snacks in the cupboard because we're trying to keep our environment clear. Fruit. I've had fruit. Nuts. There's no snacks. Drink more water. This is the thing. When there are snacks in your cupboards, guys, what's going to happen when you are low, you are tired or grouchy, you are going to end up reaching for those snacks. Yeah, Keep snacks. your environment clear. Right, now she's gone. Where was I? So I wanted to speak to you guys about something. Something that I've been thinking about for a very long time now. And I always told you guys, I'll be 100% honest with my audience. I don't want to lie or deceive anyone about anything. So I've been training now for about 20 years, just under. And initially I was seeing great results, probably in the first four or five years. And then life happened, injuries hit, and probably for the past four or five years, my results have really slowed down. So what I decided to do was go in a bulk, last year to see if I can gain some more muscle to be ready for this competition. I've made some progress, but still not as much as I'd like. So I started doing some research into how I could speed things up. I spoke to Mr. X and Yinka as well. And after a lot of consideration, I have made the decision to jump on steroids. Rebecca, I'm sorry, mom, I'm sorry. I haven't told you guys before, but you'll find out when this video is published. Why steroids? Why now? Well, 
Long and short, I tried everything and nothing worked. So when I got my ultrasound today, I asked the doctor and he recommended one or two shots of steroids. And so I took them. Obviously, I know the steroids the doctor gave me weren't anabolic steroids, but I thought it would make quite a cool title and thumbnail. I had two shots of what's called cortisone. Cortisone doesn't go in the bloodstream and it mainly targets inflammation, not anabolism. So I want to stress again, it is very different to anabolic steroids. The two sites that had the injections were in the joint itself and also in the muscle. Now, I've had injections in the muscle before because I've had vaccines in the past, but getting an injection in the joint is the most uncomfortable thing I've probably ever experienced. Like, it's such a strange feeling. So in terms of training, doctor's orders are no upper body training for the rest of the week. So he said I could do some light weights, but nothing strenuous so that the shoulder can recover. The first two days apparently will be the worst. And then after that, from next week, the pain should get a lot better. So the main activity for this week is gonna be legs, cardio, and steps in general. I don't wanna miss out just cause I can't do upper body. So I wanna be aiming for about 15,000 steps a day. Then it was jollof, chicken breast, spinach, kale and shitot. Then I had some fruit and it was off to the gym to train legs with Matt. I'll post that video tomorrow. It was his first leg day. I think it needs its own separate video. So post-workout, I had chicken pie, broccoli and carrots. To be honest, I wouldn't normally be having chicken pie on a shred, but Rebecca made it and I came home to it, so I thought I may as well. I don't cook, so beggars can't be choosers. I had minimal pastry, like seriously, most of it was filling and it was chicken breast, so I thought I may as well. So guys, that is everything. Leg session done. I'll post that video tomorrow instead. Calories and macros on screen now. My shoulder is starting to ache even holding this camera, the right shoulder. I definitely need to rest it. Maybe I'll have tomorrow off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel to follow me on this journey and I'll see you again tomorrow.